hey you, you ever remember playing Guitar Hero as a kid? Ever wanted to play it again, but don't have the hardware or the console to play it on anymore? Well, luckily for you, I have the best program for you guys to download, which is completely free by the way. It is Clone Hero. Clone Hero is a PC version of Guitar Hero for completely free and has every single song you could possibly think of. And I'm going to show you guys how to download it today. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is head over to clonehero.net. It is going to bring you to this page. Literally the entire game is just behind this download button. Literally click download and then a uh, whole lot of different things for it. But realistically, you're just going to download it for Windows. It's gonna start downloading. I don't need to because I already have it downloaded. And it's gonna put it onto your desktop as Clone Hero. This is what the folder's gonna look like. It's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. And you also want to make sure that you have an extractor like WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'll leave links in the description for both of them because you need to extract the game to be able to actually access the files inside of the folder. So the couple main ones you're gonna wanna worry about are the actual Clone Hero game itself along with the songs and screenshots section. So the Clone Hero game, you'll honestly right click it, send to your desktop as a shortcut that brings it here as a desktop icon on my desktop obviously i don't need one because i already have one that boy is right here and then the second thing you're also going to want to worry about is your songs which this is all of the songs that you have downloaded this is just all of the ones that i currently have downloaded to get songs i will show you guys how to do that in a moment the other things you got to worry about are screenshots which these are all of your screenshots at the end of the song. If you get like a really good score and don't know how to screenshot, use your uh, select button on your controller. And it's basically that. And anyways, that's essentially the folder file. I'm going to show you guys how to get songs because the default songs are kind of poo poo because these are literally the only two songs that you have downloaded to start with. You have Troopers of the Stars and Enact the Ending which both of these are okay songs, but most of the time you're gonna wanna play a lot of different stuff than just these two songs. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get that exactly with this little program on Google called chorus.fightthe.pw. It literally has over a million songs on it. So many songs that you'll never know what to play ever. You have so many choices. So say for example, you wanna play some classics or something like that. You got Wherever I May Roam by Metallica. Or if you wanna step it up and play some really tappy hard stuff, you can go for Solus 4. There's many charts to it. You can most of the time find like a billion charts to one song and you can find your favorite one and play that one honestly and then if you guys want to go really old school and download all of the old set lists you can literally find all of the guitar hero games and rock band games and then we got the guitar hero live spreadsheet uh you can literally download all of these and then we have the community set list packs which is a lot of these like uh anti-hero or gent hero stuff like that and then we have all the basic charters content creators that already make videos so like you got the asai packs you got you got pixel gh's discoreography and pluto schmutt all of these people you have all of these different charts to use so say for example we wanted to download wherever I may roam. So from this one, you literally just press the download and it might take you to here into a Google Drive link. You just click up here and you press download. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's gonna start zipping the file and getting ready to download. Uh, that usually takes, I don't know, a few seconds depending on your internet connection and your hardware inside of your computer and or laptop. So if you're running off of a hard drive, this might take a little bit longer. And it says I got three minutes until it's done. It's a 57 megabyte song. File sizes for the songs vary. My drive is literally filled. This is my drive I use for Clone Hero. I have 19 gigs out of 222 left. So once you guys see that the download is finally downloaded, you're gonna actually end up closing out of all of this 
and actually opening up your files folder you go to downloads and you will uh, right click on the file itself in your downloads folder and depending on what you're using you can honestly open it with 7-zip or you can extract it with WinRAR I use WinRAR I think it's a lot better personally but to each their own you can use whichever one you want extract here it's gonna give you the file and you're gonna drag it into songs or if you don't have the songs file on your quick access bar you can literally just drag it into your clone hero file and then drag it into your songs file so once you're done with that you can remove the rar file and just completely delete it so once you guys have all of that downloaded you got all of your the game downloaded and your songs downloaded and all that you're ready to play you can launch clone hero but once you guys are inside of it, if your controller is not working automatically, uh, I'll show you guys how to fix that in a second. So if your guys' controller is not working off the start, you're not able to pull any of this information up and you guys are using a Wii guitar or a Xbox guitar, I have a couple of them back there, or just any guitar that you're trying to connect and you know that you're getting a connection to your computer, you're gonna press space on your keyboard. It's gonna bring up this entire menu you have your keyboard layout, your mouse layout, and then you have your controller. Also would like you guys to look to the controllers and if you not have an option to select a controller, literally press assign a controller. So for example, I can do assign a controller and it will literally work like this. So you can map all your buttons and stuff like that, you know? and it will map literally all of your buttons. The one thing I would like you guys to know is when you're using a Wii guitar, you won't be able to use the star power by tilting the controller up. That came with the Wiimote when you guys were using that in there. It connected to the little nunchuck adapter, which I'm using the RafNet V3 adapter. So it doesn't have motion control, so you guys will have to use the select button or you could go on Amazon and get yourself like a foot pedal specifically for star power if you guys know what I'm talking about. But other than that, uh, you can use both the keyboard and the controller at the same time. Do keep in mind that not all keyboards will allow you to play all the frets at the exact same time because I've tried pressing every single button or certain orange chords. Like for example, it'd be like orange, red and green it straight up would not work and like it wouldn't uh allow the note to work so it's preferred to use the controllers uh that were designed for the game but if you don't have one you can still use a keyboard it is just as fun to some people i have no problem with people who use keyboard controllers just to play the game that's completely fair once you guys have your controller working and everything is good you're literally gonna go into settings and scan songs and now depending on how many songs you have this may take a very long time i am going to scan through this and this will probably end up taking me about five minutes so if it takes longer for you guys don't feel bad it literally is just all dependent on your hardware inside of your computer and how fast your stuff can run. And there you go. Once your songs are finally scanned, you will actually see songs actually start to pop up in the menu. But just before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys the settings just to let you guys know what's all in here and what settings I personally use. So essentially I do show full playlist, export current song, Highway placement zero, don't need to mess with those. Songs per player, one. Allow clients to remove songs, I don't do that. Show remote players names, I'll do that. Server tick rate, I'll do 30. Minimum speed is 100, maximum speed is 100. And then online highway placement will be on. And then for audio, I usually leave this at about 30 and then you'll actually get some audio out of the game but for video purposes i'm going to shut it off and then i also shut off the crowd and then i turn down the sound effects and the menu music and the track mute these are essentially the settings you can just copy them 
word for word essentially and then i have low latency mode on which essentially if you guys can read in the bottom when disabled the audio engine will use a bigger audio buffer this will reduce cpu usage while increasing latency disabling is recommended on low-end pcs so if you have a low-end pc i would honestly mess around with it but i personally keep it on because my system can run this game like no problem whatsoever and then you go onto the video tab make sure your resolution is the highest it can possibly go unless you're using like a laptop or something like that uh then i'd turn it down to like 720 which looks like this you can't really tell much of a difference it's hard to tell you'd have to get nitpicky with it uh, full screen I use, show mouse cursor I use to navigate through the menu and stuff if I uh, am mapping a guitar and stuff like that. And then V-Sync I have off because with this game you want more frames to play on your game to have a smoother response time and actually make the game feel a lot smoother. Frame rate, I'll throw that on unlimited as well. MSAA, I leave that disabled, gives you more frames. It literally uses so much less usage on your graphics card or if you're using a laptop, you definitely want that off. And then you got like particles and flames and highway and all this sort of stuff. I use all of these, but if you're on a low end computer, I'd turn off everything except for like flames, unless you straight up can deal without flames. I like using flames because they look cool. And then menu background, this is what the background look like by default. I use the animated one. I think it looks cooler, but you also got, uh, I believe this is the new default for the game. Uh, this was the classic one. This is what it used to look like a long time ago. And then you got dark, light, autumn, alien, black, all these different ones. I just use animated. I think it looks the best. And then we got gameplay. You got your audio offset and video offset. Uh, you can literally get a hard way or latency, but I mess around with these. These are the two that I use. So if you guys can see, I use 25 and negative 41. Use that at your own risk, but I feel like this is literally the perfect audio and video calibration settings to make your game like completely in sync with your controller and with your monitor but again if you're using like tv speakers or something like that then i'd honestly mess around with it i found that if you're using tv speakers throw this boy at like 120 i think it is but i honestly just use 25 which is the default that it gives you with your get hardware latency and then you got your no animation FPS, your star animation FPS, and your gem size. Uh, I throw no animation on 60, star animation on 60, and gem size at 100. And then I shut off highway shake because that gets annoying. Every time you miss a note, it shakes the highway. And then song preview and menu music. This is all personal preference. And then controller pull rate. So this is going to affect different people for different reasons. So if you're using a Wii Les Paul or any Wii controller for that matter, throw this boy on a thousand unless you're playing on a laptop because it will literally make this game feel like as smooth as butter. If you're using a wireless Xbox 360 controller, I'd throw it on like 500. And then if you're using like a PS2 controller, you don't need it higher than 200, which I believe that's the default. Hey y'all, it's Editing Delta. I completely forgot to recommend you guys that if you guys are using the Rafnet V3 adapter or any of the Rafnet adapters for your Wii guitar controllers, uh, go on to this website that I have down in the description. I'll literally have it labeled under Wii guitars and it gives you the low latency and all that. But to make your controller feel like the absolute best, uh, scroll down here to download and links and literally just download the link that is in here. This is your Rafnet adapter manager, which will allow you to make your controller go to that a thousand hertz that i was talking about inside of there so i just plugged in my controller and if you guys can see you go into this and your pull interval will go down to as low as 1000 hertz which is just one by default it's on 250 that's why people don't think the wii guitars are good if you crank this boy down to a thousand 
literally feels like butter, the game will feel as smooth as possible and you guys will have no issues with the game whatsoever. Anyways, back to the video. And then you'll obviously have on no fail and mute track on miss. Uh, again, personal preference. Bot score you'll want disabled. Show lyrics, personal preference. Song videos and video backgrounds, personal preference. And that's realistically everything for this game before you start playing so select the song we'll just do wherever i may roam you play it it looks like this i have the audio muted so that i don't get copyrighted and you guys get the point that is essentially clone hero so if you guys liked today's video, definitely don't forget to drop a like. And if this video gets 50 likes, I'll show you guys how to get the public test build to play with your friends and get the online servers and stuff. And yeah, it's been Delta GH guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy guys.